Hello, friends, and welcome to Pwn Physics 365, a podcast dedicated to keeping you in the zone 365 days a year. This day in physics, word of the day, killer resource. Buckle up, because here we go. Hi, friends. Hello, and welcome to this, the uh, Pwn 365, 14th of January, 2015 edition. So let's dig in with the physics pass on this day in physics. Uh, 14th January 2005, the Huygens space probe lands on Saturn's moon Titan. The Huygens spacecraft was named after Christian Huygens, who discovered the moon Titan, of course. We also give a quick nod out to Kurt Gödel, who died on this day in 1978. His incompleteness theorem proved that there are certain things that cannot be proven or disproven within a set of axioms of a system. So, two great things. Well, it's not great that he died, but we acknowledge Kurt wonderful man and uh the uh huygen spacecraft lands on titan so that's our physics past let's take a look at physics present word of the day so before we dig into what black body radiation is let's first talk about what a black body is most objects have color this is because they reflect a specific wavelength of white light the rest is absorbed if a body reflects absolutely no light whatsoever it will appear black now We see black objects all the time, but these aren't truly black or like a true black body. Most black objects do reflect at least some light. If you take a laser pointer and shine it on any black object you see, you will see a little bit of uh, red light reflected back at you. Now, on a true black body, as soon as the laser pointer touched the object, you wouldn't be able to see that pointer anymore. All the light would be absorbed. So black bodies are for the most part theoretical, although many objects are very, very close to being true black bodies. Now, a true black body does emit electromagnetic radiation unrelated to what it is absorbing. This is known as black body radiation. The wavelength of the electromagnetic waves are proportional to the temperature of the black body, and this wavelength is highly calculatable or calculable. This is what Wine, our birthday boy from yesterday's day in physics, brought to our attention. Um, Stars can be modeled as being very close to black bodies, i.e. non-reflective. All the energy going into the star does not come out. It is then possible to calculate the effective temperature of a star by measuring the wavelength of the light that we see as starlight. And this is a very powerful tool for astronomers. So for a deeper dive into black body radiation, head over to the blog pwnyourhw.blogspot.com for links to hyperphysics and the Wikipedia. So now let's dig into our killer resource of the day, which today is the iBlackBody app. Since today is Black Body Day, if you really want to dig deeper on black body radiation and see how temperature changes the wavelength at which black body radiation is emitted, there is a really cool app available made not by me called iBlackBody. It was created by a team at Georgia Tech University, and you can read a little more about it on a link over on the blog, pwnphysics.blogspot.com. At the time of this recording, it's only 99 cents in the App Store. I love how for a dollar you can dig so deep into something that you can keep in your pocket at any time. It's a truly great time to be alive. So there we go. That is the word of the day today, and uh, I'll catch you guys tomorrow with another one on Physics 365. So until then, take care, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.